Welcome back to the Crypto Wild channel, everyone. My name is Josh, and right now, Ethereum is continuing with this breakout to the upside, but we are also forming some brand new patterns here in the shorter term. And towards the end of this video, I will be including one of your most suggested altcoins in the comment section down below, which is Polygon, also known as Matic, and we do have some important analysis to take a look at. So definitely stick around all the way to the end of this video so that you're not missing out on any of this important information. And just before we jump into it, you might as well leave a like down below. And if you're new to the channel, make sure to subscribe with notifications turned on for more updates just like this every single day. But with all of that out of the way, let's get straight to what this video is about. So right here, want the Ethereum to your solar charts on the four hour time frame, And obviously we've seen that breakout to the upside and a successful retest just here. And I mentioned in yesterday's update video that Ethereum needs to hold above this exact level coming in close to 3.9K. And I said, if we see a small bounce right there, then that is very bullish for Ethereum. And it's very likely we'll continue pumping to the upside. And that's exactly what's happened since then, obviously. Now, short term, pullbacks like this are perfectly normal along the way up because obviously nothing goes in a straight line to the upside. But with that being said, checking out the technical price target for this pattern that is coming in at around four and a half thousand US dollars, which from the point of the breakout to that price target was a possible 13% gain. But from where we are right now to that price target is still another 10% gain. And this symmetrical triangle pattern becomes invalid if we either hit that price target or if Ethereum breaks below this line right here coming in at around 3870 approximately. But as I mentioned in the intro of this video, we are forming some new short-term patterns for Ethereum. For example, a pattern that we should be keeping an eye on right now on the four-hour chart is this rising wedge pattern, which technically speaking is a bearish pattern. So obviously this pattern does contradict this other pattern that has already broken out to the upside. Right now, this line of resistance is coming in at around 4160, and this line of support is coming in at about 4,000 US dollars exactly. And so if Ethereum sees a confirmed break below that support line, below 4,000 US dollars, then in that case, the technical price target will be coming in at the bottom of the wedge, which is sitting at around 3.8k approximately. So even if this pattern plays out, that wouldn't really be a massive move to the downside, considering it's only a smaller pattern on the four hour time frame. But remember, even though this pattern is technically a bearish pattern, it's only called a bearish pattern because about seven times out of 10, a rising wedge pattern breaks to the downside, but around three times out of 10, it does break to the upside. So just because it's technically known as a bearish pattern, it doesn't mean it's impossible for it to break to the upside. But for now, it's just something to keep an eye on in the shorter term. Now zooming out a little bit over to the six hour time frame for Ethereum. Of course, we've got this much larger falling wedge pattern, which is the opposite to a rising wedge pattern. So this pattern is a bullish pattern and we've already broken out to the upside with a successful retest right here. And after we saw that retest, we also got a pretty decent spike in volume, which is great to see because anytime we're moving to the upside, we need to see more and more volume coming in here to back up that move. Otherwise, if the volume is dropping off, that means there's not much confidence carrying that uptrend forward. But anyway, the technical price target for this pattern is the top of the wedge coming in at around 4.7k approximately. So from the point of the breakout, that was a potential 19 to 20% gain. But from where we are right now at the time from this video to that price target, that is still another 16% gain approximately. And when I was trying to find some other levels of resistance to the upside between now and that price target, we normally look at the Fibonacci retracement tool from swing high to swing low. But in this case, you'll notice that the Fibonacci levels don't have a lot of confluence with previous price action. And that is likely due to the fact that this wick to the downside on that flash crash that we saw a couple weeks ago is very different between different exchanges. For example, some exchanges drop to 3.3k, some exchanges drop to 3.5k. So depending on what charts, depending on what exchange you're looking at, it gives us completely different Fibonacci levels to look at. So instead, if we're looking at the Fibonacci retracement tool from the same all-time high, but to this low just here coming in between 3.6 and 3.7k, that gives us some more accurate Fibonacci levels to pay attention to. For example, the 38.2% Fibonacci level, we've seen multiple points of resistance along this exact level so far, coming in at just above 4.1K, more specifically at around 4120 to 4130. So that is definitely an important level to break above in the immediate short term if we are to continue any higher. And anything above that, yes, we have the 50% level coming in at around 4260, but really the most important Fibonacci level to the upside is the golden pocket coming in at approximately 4.4K. And we've also found perfect resistance along that same level previously. And when we're zooming out to the daily time frame for Ethereum, we are still seeing an amazing bounce from this point of support. We've actually got two major points of support here on the daily charts. First of all, we've got this horizontal line of support coming in at around 3,650. And then we've got this 20 week simple moving average coming in at around 3.8K. And that's also exactly where Ethereum bottoms out at during the September correction. So as I've been mentioning almost every day over the past one to two weeks, it is great to see Ethereum holding above 
those levels. And looking in the daily MACD, we are seeing yet another day in the green looking in the histogram, which is just adding extra confirmation on that bullish cost that we saw in the daily MACD just a couple days ago. But keep in mind, when it comes to the daily bullish cost in the MACD, there has been a couple false signals recently. For example, back here at the beginning of December, we saw a bullish cost and then about four days later, we flipped back into the red. And then also in the beginning of September, we saw a bullish cost in the daily MACD and then around a week later, we flipped back into the red. So it's important just to keep an eye on this bullish cost as we move forward. And if anything, it's more important to just keep an eye on these levels of support. And speaking about levels of support, staying on the daily time frame for Ethereum, we've got this huge descending line of previous resistance, which is now acting as support coming in at approximately 3.7K. And so once again, the fact that Ethereum has seen a bounce from that level is great to see. Now taking a look at one of your most suggested altcoins in the comment section down below, which is Matic, also known as Polygon. As I've been saying for months now on the channel, Matic is one of my top altcoin holdings. And obviously it has been performing incredibly well this bull market so far. But is that going to continue or is that about to stop? Well, first of all, you can see that we're running into the previous all-time high coming in at around $2.70 approximately. But that does depend on what exchange you're looking at. For example, on FTX and on Binance, it's at about $2.70. But then on Coinbase, it's more like $2.80 approximately. And when you're zooming right into the current price action for Matic and then comparing it to a previous all-time high breakout that we've seen, you'll notice that there's a few similarities between the current price action and that previous all-time high breakout. First of all, the right side of the screen is the current price action for Matic and the left side of the screen is the very beginning of this year, looking in January this year, when Matic finally broke its previous all-time high. In both cases here, we're forming some sort of ascending triangle pattern, basically somewhat horizontal highs, while we'll seeing higher lows on the chart, just like what we're seeing right now. And looking in the January price action on the first attempt at breaking above the all-time high for Matic. We only got slightly above it on this chart before seeing a rejection and looking in the RSI on the four-hour chart, we entered into overbought territories and looking in the four-hour MACD, we were approaching a bearish cross as the histogram was declining. So when we were seeing all of that happening, we were basically due for a short-term cool-off so that Matic can rebuild its strength for a real all-time high breakout later on. And we are seeing very similar signs right now. We have broken slightly above the all-time time high, at least on this chart just here once again, but that turned into a short-term rejection to the downside as the RSI entered into overbought territories and now the RSI is declining as the MACD on the four-hour chart is approaching a bearish cross because the histogram is declining towards the red. So what does this mean for Matic? Well, it means that before we can see a proper all-time high breakout, it's very likely we would experience at least some sort of cool-off, whether that's a sideways consolidation or a little bit of a short-term pullback before we see a real break of the all-time high later on possibly in a few weeks or within a couple months from now. Obviously, it's very hard to tell. But looking at the previous price action that we saw at the beginning of this year, from that first attempt of the break above the all-time high up until the point where we actually broke above the all-time high, that was around nine days later. So just over one week after the first attempt. So if we're measuring out nine days from this first attempt recently, that would put us in January 2022. But zooming back out to the daily time frame for Matic, there's still an important pattern to pay attention to, which is, of course, this massive rising wedge pattern, which once again is technically a bearish pattern. But anyway, right now, this point of resistance is coming in at around $2.73 approximately. And this point of support is coming in at pretty much exactly $2. So obviously, if we break above resistance, that is bullish. If we break below support, that is bearish. So this pattern is just something to keep an eye on because as of right now, it's just a waiting game. And taking a really quick look at Matic versus Bitcoin on the daily time frame, what we could see is this previous falling wedge pattern that has already broken out to the upside with a successful retest. And we've gotten pretty close to the technical price target, which is the top of the wedge right here. And right now, if you're looking at the recent price action, we are forming a bearish divergence on the daily time frame, seeing higher highs in the price, but lower highs in the daily RSI. So what does that mean for Matic against Bitcoin? Well, it means that it's quite likely we're going to see reduced buying pressure, which either means more sideways price action or perhaps a little bit more of a pullback for Matic versus Bitcoin, which for the beginners out there, if we see a pullback on this chart, that doesn't necessarily mean Matic is bearish against the US dollar. It just means Bitcoin is doing better better than Matic. So Matic would be underperforming against Bitcoin if it moves down on this chart. And on top of that, we've also got another rising wedge pattern here for Matic versus Bitcoin on the daily time frame, with the resistance coming in at around 5,500 Satoshis per Matic and the supports coming in at around 4,500 Satoshis per Matic. And so once again, a break above resistance is bullish and a break below support is bearish with a technical price target towards the bottom of the wedge. But remember, the technical price target does not come into play until we see a confirmed break below support. So as I said, with the other rising wedge pattern at the moment, this is just a waiting game.
game and it's just something to keep an eye on. And if you want to get real-time updates in the market just like this, make sure you follow me over on my Twitter and the link to my Twitter is in the description down below and also in the pinned comment. If you got value out of this video, please make sure to leave a like down below. And if you're new to the channel, make sure to subscribe with notifications turned on for more updates just like this every single day. We are getting incredibly close now to 100,000 subscribers. And in fact, by the time you're watching this video, we could even be over 100,000 subs. And I just want to let you know that that seriously means a lot. And I honestly appreciate every single one of you. But anyway, that is everything that I have to say for today. I really hope you enjoyed and I'll see you all in the next video.